Yeah, we're lost in Maine again. Got some wildlife out here. Not real sure what those are. I can't really see. We'll see later. Maybe you can. I don't know. But this is just wild to actually see it. Real pretty coastline. It's hard to get to it here, though. We've got briars and thistles and a cliff and all sorts of good stuff. But anyway, hens might get lucky. Here's a lighthouse uh, over there. Yep, we're going up in it. Yep. You gonna break your neck today? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I wanna watch. I'll get this on film. Blood and guts are ratings. Right I don't know which where I'm going. I'm gonna fall and break my neck. These rocks are quite interesting. That's for sure. Apparently, at the right tide or something, it gets underwater. Let me see where water's standing. I don't know. It's like there's iron ore in it, too. But look at this. Look at these rocks. This is Pemiquid Point. Pemiquid Lighthouse. Interesting what nature can create. A little sailboat out there somewhere. Right there she is. There's another one out. Point the camera in the general direction and zoom and see if we can find it. Right there it is. Doing decent without a tripod. That's a mile away, I'd say. This rock's just weird. It really is. Anybody want any seaweed? I'll bring you some. I don't know what those are, barnacles, seaweed? I'm not real sure. Kind of interesting though. I bet that water's good and cold. You can see the, the lobster cages. You can see little floats, little buoys, whatever you want to call it out there. I don't know if I'm getting any of them in the frame or not. It's hard to see outside, you know. There's bunches of them, different colors. They say that the U.S. and the Canadians are fighting on lobster, and they say they're selling them out of the back of their trucks two or three dollars a piece. So, yep, guess who's taking some lobster home? <laughs> View of the lighthouse. It's pretty out here today and cool. The weather's awesome. I ain't broke a sweat yet climbing these rocks. It's kind of neat. The wildlife. We found some wildlife. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> you talking about fun. Easy to crash and burn, that's for sure. Just keep going forever. Where was elevators in 1830? The lot keeper's house. As you can see, there's the lot. There's the fog bell. I don't know if you can see any of it or not. I'm trying to walk on treacherous rock here. It says it's cast by Henry, somebody. <laughs> Fall and break my neck. Get back up here and see if we can see. Henry Hooper and Company, Boston. Yeah, it's a thick old bell, that's for sure. Not real sure if this thing still technically works. I don't think it does. <clears throat> I don't think it's all here anymore. No, the little gongy thing's gone. Don't know, I don't know how exactly it worked. I think part of it came out through there, but yeah. Anyway, kind of an interesting little thing. Say it's one of the few that remain. That's a weight tower. That's where the weights were that operated it. This little building. Kind of weird.